that I took in Chicago at the Art Institute. Here's the picture of Monet's stacks. Since he was painting oil color and he was an impressionist, he was using lots of thick paint. You could see there the brush strokes. Well, you can't do that with watercolor. I use tracing paper. Tracing paper is a nice thing. Then I take the tracing paper and then put it on the watercolor and get the general outline. Now I've got my basic design. I'm using watercolor pans. Winsor Newton is the brand that I use and I'm using artist quality and some Cotman paints. The pigments in these are very bright. So here I'm going to try something. At the top of the, you see where here he's got the sort of a yellow and then he mixed in the orange. Let's see what happens here. I try. And see how it's going to go on up there. I think I'm just going to leave that alone there. It's also got this little area here. And I'll put a little wash in there. I will do washes for the blue in the background here. Then I'll go back and do a thicker way of painting. I'll show you that here when I get all that done. Washes are now done. I've got the base colors in and they're translucent or you can see through them. It, in this painting there's actually no white surface left. They're all different shades of four colors right now. A light blue, an orange, a dark yellow, and a, a brownish earth color called okra. Since Monet used oil paints and they were thick strokes so I'm going to have to switch to making them thicker. I'm still going to use the pans but I'm going to use less water and more pigment and smaller brushes. These are the brushes that I normally use on my paintings of the of the air rifles because of the the smaller size. I'm going to use these two brushes. I'll go with additional colors of, of this one here and this one here is my favorite is cobalt blue. They were, we're mid painting here or getting close. What I've done my own interpretation is to use small thick strokes. So I'm going to put a couple dabs of green in here. Just these are thick. See there's a couple dabs of green down there. Maybe here. You got to use, you can't be deliberate about it. You just kind of have to, or when it comes to this kind of stuff, you can be deliberate uh, and the finer details. But here you just want to kind of go directionality. Now I'm going to continue working like this and then I'll lighten it up a little. I need to brighten up the, this part here because it's really too harsh so I'm going to put a water on top of it let it sit for just a few seconds and then I'm going to lift it I'll do that a couple times and I'll that will lighten that up a little bit and make it less harsh you can lift a lot of things now I'm going to go ahead and try to use some little splotches of opaque white paint. It appears that, that he, he did that a little bit. We'll see how that turns out. Most watercolor paints are translucent or you can see through them. Titanium white that is opaque. Yeah, I just need to touch up a couple places where that were white. And it won't dry that way there. Scraping is where you need to really go to just plain white to, to show highlights in a detailed area. 
this area right here should be white. Even though it's it's a shade of white, it has that, some of that blue in the background. But I need just this area right here needs to be just solid white. And that way, it, it's a highlight. It's attention to detail. I use scraping quite a bit. There you have it, the finished product.